So, uh, one child is uh, found to be using hallucinogen, and uh, through this particular act, we are trying to, uh, you know, uh, understand that what are the short-term effects. Uh, the teacher comes across uh, once uh, he uh, encounters this particular child, and then. Uh, the child is taken to the counselor, and the counselor, during his interaction with the uh, child, comes to know what are the long-term uh, you know, effects of this uh, particular drug use he is uh, you know, uh, identifying himself with. And then uh, the child is provided the right kind of support through the counseling through the counselor of that particular school. Over to you. Ah, the lights. How bright. Let's go. I see fiery. Can we go jump over that rainbow? No, let's go. We, I want to jump in the rainbow. Yeah, there's a rainbow. Fiery is there. Let's go, Ratiba. I also don't know. No, we have to go. They are cold in the fairy. Don't you hear that? Let's go, Ratiba. No, let's go. 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 Let's go.
and I would say to refer to her to a psychiatrist, a medical doctor, maybe she might need urgent medical assistance right now, the like emergency, because if the symptoms persist for longer, right now she is, uh, we can see the short term immediate effect because she just took it today morning, and I think we may be able to prevent it from now on. So uh, let's speak with the with the parent and suggest them to go see a psychiatrist because. If it goes long, like weeks and months, <coughs> the economic performance might decline and we might not be able to revert it. And if if it goes longer than that, she might even withdraw from her friends. So let's do that. Let's stick with the parent. Yes. Yeah.